Hey folks, it's Mangirl. Welcome back to the channel. I'm checking out another mortar for my three inch lightweight quad builds. This is a mortar that you guys recommended I check out. It's the T Mortar 1404 3800 KV mortar. I purchased this directly from AliExpress. I will give you links in the video description. This mortar comes packaged very nicely in a little box and inside the box we have some bags and some paperwork. The first bag is the mortar itself. In the second bag we have two different size screws and look at that, we've got an extra bushing along with an extra C-clip should you want to or need to service these mortars. And T-Mortar is the only mortar manufacturer that seems to include the extra hardware. Next we have a QC pass label which means we're getting a quality mortar. Finally, we have some stickers and this golden sticker is one I haven't seen before and it says to the four, to, to the four. I don't get it. The mortar looks very compact and low profile. I do notice that the mortar bell itself is not a one piece design. You can see where the two join together over here. That typically reduces the durability of the mortar, but we'll have to see if there's any kind of impact when we're crashing and flying around. The mortar cables are 24 gauge. That's a little bit more thick than I've seen on 1404 mortars. Typically 1404 comes with 26 gauge. And the mortar cables are insanely long, measuring almost six inches in length. Doing a weight check, each mortar weighs 9.27 grams. So definitely on the light side. I've got the mortars installed in my Quadmilla Siren F3 split. This is a three inch sub 250 gram freestyle quad and the mortars definitely are smaller and also lower profile. I also noticed that the mortar cables actually feel thinner in the hand, even though they are a lower gauge. So they technically should be thicker, but I think T Mortar is using a lighter gauge insulation on the cables. So we save some weight that way but this is ready to go. Now I did mention that these mortars were surprisingly light, but let's see how much weight we've saved. This used to weigh 148 grams. Now it weighs 145 grams. We have saved three grams, not too bad. Now for the flight testing, I'll start off by flying this quad. This is my identically build Quadmela Siren F3. It has my current favorite motors. These are the RC and power motors. This does have my 04 Pro Air unit, but I'll use this as my gauge. I'll fly this around a little bit, get a feel for how this flies, how many amps it pulls. And then we'll flip over to this with the T motor and then try to come up with what the differences are. Is it better? Is it worse? Let's find out together. All the video footage you're seeing right now is straight off of the goggle view recording. I don't use any kind of software stabilization. I don't use any kind of hardware stabilization. Pretty much what you're seeing is what the quad is doing as it flies around up in the air. And I am including the goggle view recording so you can keep track of things like, you know, which quad are we looking at? So the upper right tells you that. We can also see our throttle percentage in the upper left, along with in the middle bottom of the screen, we can see how many amps the quad is pulling from the battery pack overall. And I did go ahead and fly both motors back to back on the same day, like I said I would. Starting off with the RC and power motors, and this is the quad that has the 04 Pro Air unit. Everything really seemed to fly great. No, no true new revelations. I still feel that these motors are more balanced motors and they're geared towards that efficient flight versus pure power sort of flight. And it shows when we do our full throttle punch out. So when we do our full throttle punch out, we pull roughly, let's say 40 to 42 amps from the battery pack, which definitely is on the low end for a three inch build. And even when I do a full flight here, I get almost five minutes of, of flight, which, which is great for mixed flying, uh, freestyle and uh, spirited cruising. The only thing I noticed this time out was a little bit of a shake slash uh, prop wash behavior when I was making right hand turns around this particular tree. And this is something I can reproduce every single time. Now it's possible with the 04 Pro Air unit, this quad is a little bit heavier, so it's got a um, little bit of these kind of weird behaviors as a result. It's also possible my tune is off a little bit, but I definitely did not notice this when I first reviewed these motors with the 03 Air unit. Now you're looking at the T Motor F1404 and the quad that has the 03 Air unit. And what can I say? These motors are really geared towards all out power. And when we do our full throttle punch out, you can see we actually end up hitting pretty much 50 amps when we do our full throttle punch out. 
the motors didn't feel really that much more powerful, but they did feel a little bit more responsive in terms of getting you out of trouble quick. So in a couple of um, real close calls, I was able to punch out and it gave me a bit more confidence from, from that perspective. But it does show in your flight times. So whereas the other motors gave me about five minutes, this gave me more like four minutes and 30 seconds, maybe four minutes and 40 seconds if, if I push it. So definitely they are pulling more amps, whether it's because of less efficiency, whether it's because it does produce more power. That's, that's very subjective. I personally didn't really feel that they were giving me a lot more power in, in pure uh, punch outs but the ability of being more responsive definitely was helpful. And then going around that tree that, I that was causing me challenges with the RC and power motors, no real issue. I went around this tree, I think faster with the T motor and no, pop no prop wash, no weird oscillation. So they did seem to perform better in this particular kind of maneuver. So all in all, it it's a tough one. Uh, both motors seem to be quite good. If I was to think about when I would use each of them, I suppose if you are looking for more efficiency, more cruise type of uh, flight, go with the RC and power. They will give you a longer flight time, less power draw and so forth. However, if you want to go really full out uh, freestyle, then the T-Motor F1404 is a better bet. So hopefully you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more videos.